Megan here from MELC Keeney. I hope everybody is doing well. This week for science, we are going to be making a lava lamp in a bottle. So let's get started. All right, a couple materials you're going to need for this science experiment is a plastic water bottle. If you don't have one, you can use a clear glass, some antacid tablets, any type of oil, and some food coloring. I'm going to pick red so it looks like lava for our lava lamp. And again, if you don't have any of these materials, it's okay. Feel free to follow along and maybe the next time somebody goes grocery shopping in your house, you can ask so you can do it yourself. So let's get started. So our first step is to put water in the water bottle. I'm using this little indent right here as to how much you should put in, but about a cup would be enough. Then we are going to fill about almost to the top the rest of the way with the oil. So probably about another cup and a half of oil on top of the water. All right, so now as you can see, this part here is all full of vegetable oil and this part is all full of water. Now what do you notice first? The vegetable oil is floating on top of the water. Now if anybody's ever had some salad dressing, this is usually what happens. The water and the oil separate. Now we're not going to shake it because we don't want these two mixed together yet. Okay, so now what I want you to do is take your food coloring and go ahead and put a couple drops in and see how long it takes the food coloring to drop down through the oil into the water. I'd say put about five drops in. See it going through? It's coming down the bottom. You can see it's actually, it's kind of tough to see with this water bottle angle, but it's actually still sitting right here. The food coloring drops that actually stayed in drop form inside the oil. Pretty cool. Now our next step, and this is where the lava lamp becomes the actual lava lamp. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> There's the, how long it took that drop to go down the food coloring. This is when it gets fun, okay? So remember, as we're doing our science experiments, go through all of the terms that we've been doing. So we got our materials, now we're doing our steps. Now we're gonna create a hypothesis. What's going to happen when we take our Alka-Seltzer tablets and drop it into our bottle? Or what's gonna happen? Are the Alka-Seltzer tablets gonna stay up top in the oil? Are they gonna go down into the water part? Are they gonna make the bottle explode? Are they going to make it fizz? What do you think? Take a minute and think about it. All right, so I hope you came up with some awesome hypothesis. Now here's for the fun part, okay? I broke up the Alka-Seltzer tablets into a couple pieces. Now watch carefully what happens once I drop it in. Check it out. Drop another half and another half so you can really see what's happening. How awesome! So the Alka-Seltzer tablets are making all these bubbles come up. All right, while you're still watching this awesome lava lamp, I'm gonna explain to you a little bit more about what's happening, okay? So as you know, we started with the water and the oil. The oil floats on top of the water because it's actually less dense, which means lighter than the water, okay? The food coloring has the same density as the water. So it did sink through the oil as you saw and came down to the bottom. Then when I added the Alka-Seltzer tablet, bubbles, the air bubbles started coming up and it was bringing the colored water with them into the oil as it's still doing right now. Here, I'll drop one more tablet in. And then it's going back down because the water is actually heavier than the oil. Pretty awesome, huh? So thanks for joining me for another awesome science experiment, guys. Like I said, this one's my favorite, one of also one of my favorites, and it's still going. So let me know. Send me a picture of you with your lava lamp, and let me know how awesome you liked it. I, I hope everybody stays safe and happy. See you guys soon.